comes and goes Ear after ear I will remain here As long as you live Building your dreams, yeah Achieving your goals Making you to be Good afternoon and welcome, all Getter. My name is Abigail Chang and I am the Country Director for APTC Solomon Islands and Kiribati. It is my greatest pleasure to welcome everyone to our November 2020 virtual graduation. Graduations are a time of celebration, a celebration of the learning journey that our students have undertaken. We also recognise the input of our parents and our families and our communities into the learning journey of these students. Today we are here to celebrate 51 men and women who will be graduating in five different Australian qualifications. These qualifications are a Certificate 2 in Hospitality, a Certificate 3 in Tourism, a Certificate 3 in Education Support, a Certificate 4 in Youth Work, funded by Child Fund New Zealand in collaboration with the Honiara City Council and lastly the International Skills Training Trainer and Assessor course funded by the Pacific Community or SPC and supported by the Pacific Island Emergency Management Alliance. Our program starts today with a word of prayer which has been prepared by our students followed by the national anthems for the Solomon Islands and Australia. We are very pleased to have with us this afternoon the Honourable Minister for Education and Human Resource Development, Lanel Tananada, who will be our chief guest. Following that, we will have a conferral by the APTC CEO, Solly Middleby, a graduate's address, an alumni welcome we are also delighted to have with us this afternoon His Excellency, the Australian High Commissioner to the Solomon Islands, Dr. Lachlan Strawn. The APTC is proud to be a valued partner in skills training across the entire Pacific. And this is noted from you, our students. From the learning journey that you have had, from the learning that you will then further go on to pursue, from the achievements that you go on to attain. Our value is derived from you. Since 2013, APTC has built meaningful partnerships with training institutions to deliver quality skills training with strong employment outcomes in the Solomon Islands. We also recognise the importance of a robust TVET national sector and are working with the Ministry of Education and Human Resources Development the Solomon Islands Tertiary Education Skills Authority, seven national training provider partners, education authorities, industry and other partners towards this end. At APTC, we are passionate about the work that we do. We are passionate about the change that we can make. We are also passionate about our students, our alumni, and about, most importantly, about creating skills for life. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, thank you again for joining us today and welcome to our November 2020 virtual graduation. I introduce Christopher Gette, graduating student, Certificate to Hospitality for our opening prayer. Let us pray. Great God, our Heavenly Father, we call upon your holy name this time, Father God Almighty, knowing that you are the sustainer, giver, and provider of all our lives. Dear Lord, at times we wander on our own ways, Father, do things our own ways. Father, come before your holy presence, the throne of grace, Father, we reconcile with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father, our Saviour. God Almighty, Father, from heaven above, we look down, Father, witnessing this event, Father, the graduation ceremony, Father, of APTC graduates, in various fields, dear Lord, I pray for its graduates here. Lord, Almighty, as we receive this certificate, Father, may it help us, Father, sustain us so that we can find workplaces that can provide for our families. Dear God, Almighty, Father, not forgetting the APTC organization too, Lord. 
they have recognized the need of humanity, Father God, and they have provided this program, Father, scholarship, and now, Father, I pray that your blessing may be upon this organization, Father. Their planning, Father, the CEO and the country directors of various countries around the world, God. I pray that you can bless them, enhance their knowledge, wisdom, Father, as they lead, Father God, to support the humanity, Father. God Almighty, Father, not forgetting the pandemic, Father, that is happening around, affecting our families abroad. Father God, commit them into hands, Father. You comfort us with the comfort of the Holy Spirit, dear Lord, Father. Thank you for your goodness, mercy, and love, Father God. You be with us now throughout this program. His speeches continue today, Lord. May it bring encouragement, Father God, to us as we live these days, Father. Forgive us now, Father, for our many failures in life, Lord. Accept us just as we are. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. His Excellency Dr. Lachlan Strachan, Australian High Commissioner to Solomon Islands, APTC CEO Ms. Solly Middleby, Ms. Abigail Chang, APTC Country Director of Solomon Islands and Kiribati, APTC students and families, to our viewers and listeners, a warm welcome to you all. On behalf of the Solomon Islands Government, I am thrilled to be invited to deliver the keynote address and join you in celebrating another cohort of graduates to successfully receive internationally recognized technical vocational education and training TVET qualifications. This year's graduation is like no other. While the COVID-19 pandemic has brought the world economy to a standstill, it has also enabled innovation that is allowing us to explore ways we can work together better as a global community and as a nation. Never before have we been rigorously pushed to explore new ways of learning and to rise beyond traditional methods of delivering and assessing training. 
I have had the privilege of attending several graduation events. However, this is the first time I am part of a virtual graduation and I thank you all for this innovative opportunity to be part of a student journey. This milestone is both a special and momentous one. To all graduating students, I congratulate and commend you on your achievement and hard work in attaining an Australian qualification. I also want to acknowledge the support of the industries, institutions, development partners, employers, families and friends. They are important stakeholders and are part of our journey today as well. In this graduation, we will witness 51 Solomon Islander men and women receive five different qualifications ranging from hospitality, education support, tourism, youth work and international skills training. The variety of qualifications is a great reflection of the range of skills and trades we have in the Solomon Islands and across the region. Today I am also impressed to see 28 women graduating in this cohort. This is a remarkable and encouraging achievement, especially since TVET has always been perceived as exclusive to males. I am proud to witness a growing number of women take up roles in skills training that is helping contribute to a more gender inclusive society. I do want to recognize 16 youth workers graduating in this cohort as well, which is the result of a co-funded program by Child Fund New Zealand, Honora City Council and APTC. My ministry appreciates such partnerships that are critical for community development, especially during these times. Graduates, I commend you for persevering to upskill yourselves. Your achievements have been possible because you value education and recognize the positive impact it can have on your career progression. Our government, through the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development, is focused on TVET within Solomon Islands education system. Vocational and trade workers like you who are graduating today are important to many sectors in Solomon Islands economy and critical in this time of COVID in industry, in the labor force, in the communities and across our beloved country. I commend APTC's existing partnership with national training institutions to contribute to raising the quality of TVET in Solomon Islands, including seven training providers, such as Afatara Rural Training Center, Asia Pacific Sustainable Development RTC, Batuna Rural Training Center, Divit Rural Training Center, Don Bosco Technical Institute at Henderson, Don Bosco Tetera Rural Training Center and Tabaka Rural Training Center. In addition to that, I understand APTC is working actively with the Solomon Islands Tertiary Education Skills Authority to finalize the Solomon Islands Qualifications Framework and the Solomon Islands Quality Standards by the end of the year and to provide governance and technical support. I am pleased to hear APTC's collaboration goes beyond training and education institutions, but with industry stakeholders like the Solomon Islands Chamber of Commerce and Industry, youth representatives and other stakeholders to collaborate for enhanced skill developed in the Solomon Islands workforce. The Solomon Islands government recognizes that stronger collaboration and partnerships are needed to achieve quality education and relevant skills for employment, decent jobs and thriving entrepreneurship in Solomon Islands. Ladies and gentlemen, let me highlight that quality, industry relevant technical and vocational training that responds to labor market needs is as attractive as any other academic field of study. We need suitable qualified personnel leading in a variety of fields of work now and in the future. Without a doubt, APTC has excelled at delivering TVET exceptionally well, 
having trained more than 15,000 Pacific Island women and men graduates since 2007. I acknowledged APTC for its investments in Solomon Islands and the region as a whole. I am looking forward to fruitful days ahead in partnering for skills development in Solomon Islands and the Pacific. I am pleased to see that APTC not only produces quality graduates, but also collaborates extensively with local training institutes. For example, APTC's partnership with the Don Bosco Technical Institute, where hospitality students graduating today were able to train and gain experience in local industries in Honiara. APTC's goal of producing quality graduates and supporting local TVET institutions with the delivery is well aligned with the private sector and industry's needs of employing highly qualified workers. As we all know, producing quality training for a skilled, inclusive and productive labor force not only exists in the Solomon Islands, but across the region, including Australia and New Zealand. For this reason, the Solomon Islands government established a partnership with the Australian government on the Pacific Labour Scheme as a way to boost employment opportunities for our young people and contribute to overall economic growth, but also to building of enhanced skills and experiences that can, on their return, contribute to driving growth and innovation here at home. We recognize APTC for their contribution to this scheme, resulting in four APTC alumni this year traveling to Australia to work in the Aged Care Center. On that note, I acknowledge and commend the Australian government for the significant contribution in establishing APTC, which remains Australia's major investment in TIVET across the Pacific. Such support is enabling Pacific men and women to gain Australian skills and internationally recognized qualifications providing them with improved employment opportunities for a wide range of vocation careers. This also ensures that there are skilled workers to fill job vacancies in the Solomon Islands, across the Pacific, as well as abroad. We all share common interest in supporting exclusive economic development and improved livelihoods through targeted investment in private and human resource development. Finally, let me focus my lens on our graduates again. Today is your day that will be written down in your history. I commend you for your dedication and sacrifice in successfully completing your studies. This graduation is all about you and you deserve to celebrate your hard-earned achievements. I encourage you all to make the best use of your newfound skills. I wish each graduate, their families, APTC alumni, and everyone watching and listening to the very best for their future. Tagio Tomas, Olgeta One Talk. Hello, Olgeta. It's my privilege to be here virtually as the CEO of APTC to confer the awards of today's virtual graduation. I offer my most sincere appreciation to our special guests, the keynote speaker, Honourable Lanelle Alandra Tanangada, Minister for Education, Human Resource Development, and His Excellency Dr Lachlan Strawn, Australian High Commissioner to the Solomon Islands. I acknowledge our APTC partners, family and friends of our students and other representatives of the governments of Solomon Islands and Australia who may be joining us today. Most of all, on behalf of APTC, I extend my sincere congratulations to our graduating cohort. While we're not able to have this ceremony together in person, we want you to know how proud we are of the hard work and dedication you've shown in your studies. Today's ceremony is special in many ways. Not only do we celebrate the achievements of 51 Solomon Island men and women, but we also recognise that this is the first virtual graduation that APTC has hosted for its graduating Solomon Islands cohort. Today we celebrate success, your success. The long-term success of APTC in the Solomon Islands will be measured by your achievements and your success in taking the skills that you've gained with us into your own lives, your communities and your employers. 
Solomon Islands needs its doctors, accountants and engineers, that's true. But equally important are its skilled, vocationally qualified workers. We need cars and machinery to be fixed. We need electricians, welders, plumbers and fitters. We need people to develop our communities, provide good health services, care for our children, our young people, our elderly and those with disabilities. We need houses to be built, painted and tiled. We need frontline managers in our public services and our private sector. And the demand for good service is ever increasing at our restaurants, hotels and tours. To our new graduates, you will bring new skills across all these areas to Solomon Islands. While we know that the impacts of COVID-19 have challenged our industries, economies and jobs, APTC remains committed to aligning our work to economic recovery. Our courses remain relevant so our graduates are well equipped to get jobs and contribute to rebuilding the economy. We've increased the range of products we have and we're increasing our operations in the Solomon Islands, which will see an additional 250 qualifications for Solomon Islanders, as well as new partnerships with rural training centres. I'd like to take the opportunity to commend the response efforts of the Solomon Islands government to the COVID-19 crisis, as well as their commitment and support of TVET. And our thanks to the Australian government for its support across the region and through APTC this last 13 years. Finally, back to our graduands, it's been our privilege to be part of your learning journey. Today you join over 15,000 APTC graduates. You're now part of a special network, the APTC alumni, and I encourage you all to stay connected through the Solomon Islands chapter. You live our motto, creating skills for life, and I congratulate you all. I'll now move to confer the awards of today's ceremony. In accordance with the Australian Qualifications Framework, and in recognition of the individual requirements of each qualification, I confirm that all graduands have met the requirements of their course of study as conferred by TAFE Queensland and delivered through the Australia Pacific Training Coalition. Congratulations to all our graduates. Safety Gate 2 in hospitality. Graduates have gained the necessary food and beverage service skill for working in hospitality settings such as restaurant, hotels, motels, catering operation, clubs, pubs, cafes, and coffee shops. Aldrin Gautara Kini Al. Alexana Sasambule. Angela Afu. Bonnie Kenny. Christopher Rai Au Gete, Esta Kambu Didivera, Iasu Gimasaru, Julie Atai, Junior Hare, Lena Megs. Kelly, Melissa Massimo, Monita Holland, and Saron Ikai. Safety K3 in Education Support. Students studying in Education Support aim to work in a variety of education settings including public, independent schools, and community education set settings. Graduates of this qualification will provide assistance and support to teachers and students. Alva Ronga Dalla. Deborah Vasti Oswald. Meldrina Wendy Anderson. Muri Kitaika Naislin Puya Sofia Suri and Sylvia Osoika Sa Songa. Certificate 3 in Tourism. Graduates have developed skills in areas such as customer sales, office operations, tour guiding and promotions. 
They have also developed a broad awareness of the tourism industry and the skills to effectively contribute to the tourism sector. Agnes Aroma Maui. Chelsea Nesari Fusa. Judith Kao. Samantha Anika Bossi. Certificate 4 in Youth Work. Graduates have developed the skills and experience to develop and facilitate programs for young people through a range of community-based activities designed to address the social, behavioral, health, welfare, developmental, and protection needs of young people. Youth workers in the Pacific work across the government and non-government sector in communities, churches, sporting organizations, schools, and government agencies. Alfred Samani. Andrew Kaloa. Andrew Sanga Ghani. Brat Tohia Kipuya. Dudley Tawauri. Jeffrey Junior Maisala. Joseph Fofaka Gwali. Julia Alafai Waitara. Kevin Saueha. Leslie Boseto. Loria Waitara. Margaret Tacey Sade. Marvlin Tafusia. Quincy K. Dali. Sepi Maaka Alu. Velme Aluta. International Skills Training. Quality trainers and assessors are foundation of a modern industry relevant training system. Graduates of this course have developed the confidence and capacity to make reasoned judgment when training, including adapting teaching materials and learning techniques to meet industry and learner needs. In addition, assessors will help to meet the needs of industry and enterprises through assessing learner skill and knowledge for the workplace. Ben Fugui. Elizabeth Tangisi. Freddie Pelembo. Harry Dauga. Henry Andy. Jimmy Male for Dollar, Philemon Ruya, Filma Zaku, Rainik Ray, Samarut Loe, and Wilson Saiga. Honorable Minister Lanel Tanagada, His Excellency Dr. Lachlan Strand, Australian High Commissioner to Solomon Islands, APTC CEO Ms. Solly Middleby, Ms. Abigail Chang, APTC Country Director, Solomon Islands and Kiribati, APTC staff, APTC students and families, to our viewers and listeners. I am deeply honored and humbled to have the great privilege of representing the APTC graduating students. First of all, 
I would like to give thanks to God Almighty for his care, love, knowledge to all of us through our studies this year during the COVID-19 period. I am delighted we successfully completed our program. I would like to acknowledge by saying a big thank you to us, to APTC and the Australian government for providing this training and giving us Solomon Island students this wonderful opportunity to achieve this internationally recognized Australian qualification. To the trainers and staff of APTC, thank you to us for the help and encouragement we always receive from your office. Even though we were discouraged at times, but your commitment remained. I would also like to thank our families for their continuous support and trust placed upon us throughout this journey. It has not been easy leaving, leaving you all here in the country and traveling away to study overseas. I know at times it's been hard being separated from our families, especially with the time being extended beyond six months due to COVID-19 and the restriction being put in place. We understood the APTC had no other choice but to care for our safety and implement the government code, government code of practice. Today, the, the sacrifices and late nights has finally paid off. A period of 22 weeks have been set for us to have our studies both in and out of the country, but we would never have imagined that we could end up staying for longer due to the COVID-19 flight cancellation. We have been through some rough and extremely challenging times because of this, and were at times very distressed. But with our focus and commitment to our studies, and with the understanding and compassionate learning APTC has given us, we gain strength and believe we could make it. The encouragement and patience the APTC progressively gave us helped us to be fast and efficient in our studies and work. We are so appreciative and thankful for all the skills we have developed while training and studying at our various campuses around the Pacific countries we represent here today. To all the dedicated staff and trainers at our various APTC campuses, thank you for your infinite and dedicated effort in giving us the knowledge and skills we needed to improve our employment opportunities and better contribute to our country's growth. It is here at APTC I have learned how to look at different situations in education, for example, disability inclusion and to value cultural diversity. I was not experienced in these things previously, but now I can embrace it and make a difference. On behalf of the graduating students today, I would like to acknowledge and thank the Australian government supporting education sector, including TVET in the Solomon Islands. Without your generous investment, we would not be able to receive this qualification. The Australian government and APTC have positioned each one of us on an advanced step on the road to success, for which we are so grateful and humble. I would like to thank the Solomon Islands government as well for establishing this long-standing partnership with the Australian government to provide greater opportunities in vocational education, which has opened up opportunities for students like us and those before us. As of this um, afternoon onwards, we will now become APTC alumni. And I would like to wish each alumni the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations to each and every one of you. The message I want to leave with you all today is, this is not the conclusion of your study with APTC, but the beginning to an open door of opportunities. 
not only within our country, but to the world. I challenge you and me as alumni to ask, what will become of us? Will our knowledge be hidden or will we make use of the skills we have gained in our various areas of influences to improve quality of service, which the people of this country deserve? Make use of the skills you have achieved. To God be the glory. Thank you. Congratulations, graduating students, and welcome to this APTC Solomon Islands alumni chapter. You are now part of a more than 15,000 strong network of APTC alumni around the region, which include 2014 from Solomon Islands. The chapter allows you to stay connected with APTC with the aim to keep alumni informed, engaged, and invested in the alumni community and APTC throughout range of activities. The activities give opportunities for alumni to expand their professional network. We have been conducting professional development activities, forums, industrial visits, and community services in collaboration with APTC. Receiving your alumni t-shirt today, I encourage you to remain engaged and stay connected with us and part of the alumni community in the Solomon Islands to be positive role models and contributors to our families, communities, and the country as a whole. The APTC Alumni Association is the primary organization for the APTC alumni. Chapters are extensions of the alumni that reach out to graduates in various communities and organize them into a unified body affiliated with the alumni. On behalf of Solomon Islands APTC Alumni Chapter Leadership Committee, I am inviting all graduates to visit us today or join us in our Facebook page, APTC Solomon Islands Alumni. Tage Tumas, Olgeta One Talks. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be with you all this afternoon to celebrate your graduation. At the outset, can I acknowledge the presence of the Minister for Education, the Honourable Lanelle Tanangada? Can I also acknowledge two of my compatriots, the APTC CEO, Solly Middleby, and the Country Manager for the Solomon Islands for APTC, Abigail Chang. We are all living through an unusual time. We're in the middle of COVID. And unfortunately, in some ways, for all of you wonderful students, that has changed your experience of learning. You know, one of the best things about learning is being able to do everything face to face. That's probably how we learn best. But COVID has made us look for innovative ways of dealing with education. So I know that all of the graduates today have done their courses with a mixture of virtual learning and face to face. That's not always easy. So I think that indicates that all of you have worked even harder. That's a wonderful achievement. So today we have seen 51 of you graduate, 28 women. That is a tremendous achievement. You join now 15,000 graduates. Skills are so important. That's how people build a new life, how they build a job, a career, how they build things for their families. So acquiring skills, it's good for the individual, it's good for the family, and it's good for the nation. Education will continue to be a fundamentally important part of our relationship with Solomon Islands. All of you should know that you have become part of the story of the relationship between our two countries. Solomon Islands is one of the most important partners for Australia, and education within that partnership plays a very important role. So can I acknowledge all of you today, all 51 of you, for the hard work that you have put in and wish you all the best for the future.